So probably one of the biggest barriers is one that we all know exists, right? So there is still um, perceptions of who I am just because I'm a black woman, you know, perceptions of um, what I can do, what my values are, which rooms I should or shouldn't be in, all because of who I am, black woman, black queer woman. And overcoming that is something that constantly has to happen, especially when I'm working in a, a white male dominated space and field. And so just overcoming some of the misogyny, right? Um, overlooking sometimes some of the comments and saying we gotta fo stay focused on this effort while also not being treated um, poorly simply because of who I am is something that I think we as women and we as women of color we as queer people have to continuously navigate, you know? Um, when do I call out the boys for doing the, you know, the um, the all male shop, you know what I mean? The boys club, when I call them out, when do I just join the club, you know? Uh, and when do I start my own club <laughs> of folks who maybe um, are not a part of that group too, you know, and build that coalition. And so it's really uh, in interesting being um, an outsider insider, you know? So I'm from the outside, but I am inside of the game. Uh, and that's something that, you know, we consistently have to navigate. I know that women in science are feeling this exact same thing, women in politics, women in the most places, and especially people of color. And I gotta tell you, it doesn't get any easier necessarily, um, but we just learn how to navigate it better. Uh, and hopefully in that navigation also bring people with us who have those different backgrounds, those different experiences that we can all grow from and share with as well and ensure that they don't have to try to overcome the same obstacles that you did.